Hello guys, here is Dare. Um, I'm gonna uh, make this video to explain how you can get your screen, your environment set up as the one you are looking at right now. So I've, um, some people have asked the question that when they add hiking a sheet to their chart, it doesn't look like the way this one is looking. So this video is to explain exactly how you would do it. I will first of all let you know that um, you might need to uh, make some changes to the uh, default hiking ashe uh, indicator. But it's very simple. You don't have to be a super programmer to do that. But I'm going to show you how you can do it. Um, but first of all, this is the screen you are looking at. This is my normal setup, uh, hiking ash indicator, and then you have the MA. So, but of course, this is not how it's going to look when you open up a new chart. So let's start from the fresh and open up a brand new chart. Let's use the same currency pair cable, that is GPP USD. So, uh, of course, we are using MT platform, MetaTrader platform. This is uh, MT4. So, to open a chart, you go to New File, New Chart. You can pick any pair you like. So, for this instance, we pick GBP USD. Uh, defaults to one hour, we change to daily. And we probably want to zoom out. So this is a daily chart, and usually I change the background, uh, the property of the chart. So you right click the chart and select properties. I normally change it to black on white. So the screen is clear for me. Okay, so we've got uh, the background. Now we go add indicator. So to add the indicator, you go to File, or oh, sorry, you go to Insert Indicators, and usually it's under Customs. So it's Hiking Ashi. It comes with MetaTrader. Um, so this is the one, Hiking Ashi. Okay. So you click that. You can see the colors that comes with default is not the same as mine. Mine are red and blue. This is red and white. And at the same thing, so I normally change it to you change it to blue. Blue. So I change the white to blue. So it's now blue and red that you will see on the screen. And these sizes. I change them to five each. Each these five uh, four four lines. I change them to five. Five point. Okay. So this is what you get. But the problem here is that uh, the settings are not being saved. So if you move out of this chart to some to another time frame and come back, the settings will be different. So, so if you go back there and look for that same indicator, which is this, you can see the, the five five we put is different now. But I'll show you the solution to that. So now it looks similar to what we are used to on YouTube when I uh, do my videos. Um, next thing you do is to add inside an indicator called moving average. So it's under trend moving average. Usually it's 50 simple moving average. I leave the color at red. Or if it's not red, change it to red. All these colors, you can make it any color that suits you, but red and blue seems to be okay for me. So this is how 
our chart normally look like. But of course, the issue here is, let's say I move to four hours and I come back to daily, all this hiking ashy colors will change and it won't be like as it is now. So let's practice that. Four hours, going back to daily is different. It now has all the weeks. And the reason is that if you look into the indicator property, right click, indicator lists, and go to Ikinashi, edit, see all this width that we, we put at five, they've changed again. The so it means that you cannot consistently have uh, the width that you, you wanted all the, all the way through where you change, you do anything. So to resolve that, I'll show you how you can go around that. Um, it is not pro it is a bit of programming, but you don't have to uh, be a super programmer to be able to do it. It's very simple, believe me. So what you do is you look for the Aiken Ashi indicator that we just added, or you look for it under indicators. You look for Aikinashi, which is this one. You right click it. Right click it. It gives you these pop up options. Click modify. So it, it gives, takes you to a programming um, screen. But don't, don't worry too much. It's not too much of programming. I'll show you. So first thing you do is click file. Save as. Save it as something else. So I'm going to save it as Ekin Ashi YouTube YouTube demo demo right. So the reason why I'm saving it is to make sure I don't uh, make changes to the original um, indicator. So the original indicator will stay the same. I'm just taking a copy of it and I'm going to make a change to the copy of it. So the one I'm looking at now is the Ekinashi YouTube demo. So any changes I make here doesn't affect the original indicator. Just a couple of changes, not nothing too much. So if you look at this color here, the input color, we want to change. Remember we change it in the uh, user interface. We want to change it here programmatically change it to blue we're principally doing the same thing we just did on the ui or user interface and then same thing the numbers that we changed you remember we change the numbers to five 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 we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna change this to five Going to change this to five. Going to change that to five. Going to change that to five. All done. So that is it. So you click save, and then there's a button here to compile. Compile is making the code ready for for it to run properly. So you click, click compile, and that is it. You get things like zero errors, zero warnings. If you make any mistakes, it wouldn't compile. It will give you one error or two errors or some other issues that you need to fix it. So the good thing is once we compile it, it automatically goes into our indicators list. So before there wasn't anything to do with YouTube, but now you got Elkin Ashi YouTube demo. That's a new indicator. It's a exact copy is the same as the original air kinashi but we have just changed or modified the colors and the uh, the width okay so now let us do this open a new chart gbp usd as we did earlier daily zoom in change the background color 
color scheme make it black and white okay now rather than adding uh, Ekin Ashi I want to add Ekin Ashi YouTube demo so you can either do it from here or insert indicator custom Ekin Ashi YouTube demo we just created okay so if you look the color has changed to the color we wanted this hasn't changed but let us see what happened all right because we are running for the first time it is now updating itself properly so you can see if we go back to the same indicator right click Ekinashi YouTube it is now updated itself to the appropriate numbers that we want and uh, that is that we have programmed so this you can also add your your moving average as we did earlier trend moving average 50 ma uh, simple moving average now you have it you have it on the screen and the last step you want to do is to make sure you save this together as a template to do that you right click your chart and you say templates save template so you call it uh, let's say we say YouTube YouTube um, demo demo template YouTube demo template and you save it so this makes your life a lot easier next time you want to apply these two indicators both the MA and the hiking sheet to a chart all you have to do now is let's say we open a new chart call it GBP USD uh, still you have to go to daily and that's all you have to do uh, in terms of manual work now you just right click template and select the one you just created in this case YouTube demo template and there you have there you have it there so everything has been applied to it uh, you can open any chart you like and you can move from different time frame to time frame it will keep it will keep the settings unlike the original hiking sheet that will change the settings if you make any changes this will keep the settings So, last test, any chart at all, open any chart, uh, let's say we open Euro Japan. It's that way, you can either apply, go to daily now, then click, right click templates, load template, or you just select that template here, YouTube demo template, or whatever name you have given yours. So this is how it looks. The wigs have disappeared and it is easier to read now. And uh, that is how I make my uh, screen and my uh, chart. So uh, if you have further questions, please do ask and I will be more than happy to explain as much as I can. Okay, take care. Talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>